We have a guard license here? Huh, interesting. I never knew I never knew we had a guard license in FNAF fan games until now. I don't know why we don't have it in the other games, but in this game we do. But huh, interesting. Anyways, we're out further Anyways, without further ado, we will click on the game Finance Warriors Trapped with them. What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights of Warriors Trapped Within, where this is a, a Five Nights of Warriors fan game based on the original Five Nights of Warriors series. And this game is made by Epic Tagi Games, who is also the creator of Five Nights of Warriors High Rollers and Five Nights of Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition. Which I played Final Fantasy Warriors um, High Rollers last year, and then I haven't played Final Fantasy Warriors 3 Custom Room Edition yet, but I will eventually. And as you can tell by the screen, on this game is going to be based on Final Fantasy Warriors 3 because of the house right there, and these whole selection things here. All right, so we have Standard Mode, which I'm going to see what it says here. Attempt to survive five nights in a giant house haunted by vengeful spirits. Alright, so, like I said, this is going to be based on Final Fantasy Warriors 3, as you can tell by the screen. And we have Standard Mode to do, so, without further ado, we will take on Night 1 for Standard Mode, and we will see what has to offer for us. And we'll start a new game, of course. Thomas Taylor, after the events of, of WarioWare Inc., has gotten a new job, guarding a house. His first client was a family asking him to, him to watch over the house for the week. They said he could help himself to anything in the pantry. Thomas Taylor got to the house set up his, to set up his cameras and was about to grab something to eat from the pantry before he got the dreaded call. He was about to meet some old friends. Oh, we have another cutscene. Oh, we get a phone call. This phone call thing reminds me of Finance Warriors High Rollers. Hello? Hello? You there? Thomas, hello, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, listen. If you can hear this, you are in grave danger. That house is incredibly haunted and the spirits will try and murder you. Wherever you are, it better be in one of the major rooms and not some random hallway. Where are you? The pantry? Okay, okay, good. You're somewhere safe, a bit. Okay, you set up the cameras, right? Um, alright, good. Uh, you need to keep watch on them so they don't get too close. Well... The cameras have a limited battery, so that will probably hinder your progress trying to watch them. And, uh, you do need to put it back down before it dies, because it has to recharge all the way back up if it dies. And, uh, hold on, let me look at my files for the pantry. Uh, okay. Um, it has a light fixture or something. Um, for some reason, if you turn it off, it comes back on shortly. So if someone should enter, shut the lights off. Got it? The light fixture might misfire at times. If the lights malfunction, open the cameras and press the warning icon to fix the lights. Also, if someone enters from the right, look to the opposite direction. Because spirits are less aggressive if you look away. Well, some of them are at least. When 6am hits, the spirits will back off for a while. You'll be able to move around and look for the exit. Keep in mind the spirits may try to mess with you, like lock the doors, lock the windows, and make, um... The exit appear further or maybe not even appear at all. Stay focused if you can find the exit or hide in a different room. Because if you're in the same room twice in a row, you'll be easier to find. I could come over and help you, but the spirits will get far angrier and it will get us both killed. Um, that should be it. I'll call you again tomorrow. Good luck, man. You're gonna need it. Good night. Alright, hmm. Alright, so we're going to be hiding in the pantry for night one. And all this food right here is making me hungry. Same with that beer. <laughs> nice. Okay, anyways, so who are we going to deal with for night one? Okay, we're dealing with Wario. And Wario pen... Oh! I had to recharge the camera, I just realized. And Wario is about to jump in the pool right there, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, who else we're we dealing with? We have Wario, and then we're dealing with. Um, let me think. Is it just Wario we're dealing with, or we're dealing with someone else? But anyways, um, if they if whoever comes in the room, we have to shut the light off. Whoever comes in the room from the right, 
the left we have to look on the right. Oh, there's Waluigi. Okay, so we're dealing with both Wario and Waluigi, and whoever comes from the left, um, gotta look from the right. Whoever comes in the room just naturally, you have to shut off the light. Oh, that's just a painting of Wario. I thought that was actually Wario, but it's... I thought it was actually Wario jumping in the pool, but it's actually just a painting. God, that threw me off guard completely. Okay, there's Waluigi. I see him in the pool area. Wario is in the living room. Okay, the, the light thing just misfired. Oh, I just saw Wario and had to fire the light on. Okay, good. Wario left. Okay, so if Wario comes, um, so if Wario, if he comes, I gotta look from the, oop. Oh, crap, Waluigi. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting game over thing. I get I get stabbed I get I get stabbed to death right after I get jump scared. Really interesting. Oh, and there's a Luigi glitch. And Luigi just came up out of nowhere. Interesting. Okay, so how do I deal with how do I deal with Wall Luigi? I got I got to listen to the phone call again. To see how to deal with Waluigi. I know how to deal with Wario. God, this night's confusing. Hello? Hello? You there? Thomas? Hello? Are you there? Alright, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mute this phone call, turn the sound off since I've already listened to it, so I'm just gonna read through it and see um how to deal with Waluigi. Okay, so if someone enters from the right, look to the opposite direction because spirits are less direction. Oh, Okay, okay, perfect. Now I understand how to deal with Waluigi. If Waluigi comes in the room, we have to turn off the light. And then if Wario comes in, which he comes from the right, we have to look to the left. Okay, so the light is for Waluigi. Looking to the left is for Wario. Okay. Now I understand. Alright, and it's a... And the mechanic's actually the same... And the mechanic for Wario is actually the same as for the first game in the living room. And the, the camera works the same where we have to put it down after a while because the battery will die. Okay, so now I have a full understanding how to deal with Wario and Waluigi. I got confused on how to deal with them at first. Well, Waluigi, Waluigi, I got confused with on how to deal with at first, but now I understand how to deal with him. Whoop! The light misfired. I gotta, I gotta recharge. I gotta. Whoa! Wario's there. Okay. Okay, Wario just came. I had to look to the left because he just came. Okay, so for Wario, look to the left. Waluigi, shut off the light. Okay, let me check for Waluigi. And I actually do not really have to check the camera as much this night. I just gotta look left and right to see who's coming. I don't really have to check the camera much this night, unless if I have to recharge the lights, if, because they'll miss fire from time to time this night. Okay, so let's keep looking. Oh, left and right, keep looking. I just heard I just heard a banging in this game, so I don't know who just did that. Was it Waluigi or Wario? I don't know. I'm gonna look. Whoop. I gotta shut off the light because Waluigi's here. Alright, there you go. Perfect. Now I figured out how to deal with Waluigi. Perfect. And now I'm gonna check for Wario because he comes from the right, Waluigi comes from the left.
Yep, that's Wario's sound cue and Waluigi's. I hear the door opening. Let me check. The death scene in this game is interesting because you get staffed, stabbed to death instead of stuffed into a suit or stuffed into a suit. Which is really interesting. Oh, Wario's here. I gotta look to the left. And Waluigi's not there yet, but he's gonna come soon. Okay, I got rid of Wario. Checking for Waluigi. Oh, I just, I just heard banging, so that means Waluigi's coming close. That's his sound cue for coming close. For Wario, his sound cue is the door opening. Okay, so let's take a look, see who's there. Check for Waluigi. Oops, I gotta shut off the light. Waluigi's here, gotta shut off the light. Which, of course, doesn't actually take long to recharge, so that's a good thing. Okay, I actually find that painting of Wario about to jump in the pool really funny. I don't know I don't know why someone has a painting of Wario in the pool. Like that's just funny. <laughs> I mean, do these people who this is my question, do these people who live in this house play Five Nights at Wario's? And are and are a big fan of it, that's why? Huh. That's what I wonder. Hmm. Oh, the camera needs to be recharged. No, wait, the, the light needs to be recharged. It just missed a fire. Oh, Wario's here. Gotta look to the left. Alright, we beat night one. Perfect. It was a little bit confusing, but we got through it nonetheless. So what do we have next? Choose a room to hide in. Okay. So we can actually choose a room to hide in. And we got the bathroom and the kitchen. Which is the same rooms from Finance of Wario's 3. So I'm, I'm going to pick the bathroom for this night. To hide in. Alright, and we get a phone call. Uh, hey, you still there? Um, alright, good. Uh, you did hide in a different room, right? Um, alright, cool. So, uh, where did you hide? The bathroom at the end of the hall, um, okay. Um, there should be some, uh, chemicals in there or something. If someone comes in, spray it in their face. It'll probably make them leave because they'll be annoyed. Um, oh, wait, uh, it might only work on shy and nervous ghosts, so, um, use it if someone, uh, quietly comes in. If a more aggressive ghost violently enters your room, stare at the camera until they leave, as the chemicals may not work. Um, alright, that should do it, uh... Oh, uh, I forgot to mention this before, but, uh, do you remember that person named Max? I yes, think? I do remember him. Well, the reason why he was... the reason why he passed away was because, well, he was found murdered in this very building. Yeah, it was... You know what, never mind. I don't want to creep you out more than you already are. Uh... Alright, well, uh, stay safe, man. You got this, Thomas. Okay, so, if, if a sh... Alright, we're in the bathroom. Here we go. Okay, if a shy ghost comes in, we spray him with the chemicals from the spray bottle here. Which reminds me of Five Nights of Bud with Bud Rebooted, where you have to spray Winston. And if an aggressive ghost comes in, we have to... Put on the camera. Put, put the camera. Oh, I see Luigi. Okay, Luigi looks to be aggressive, so I think I gotta put the camera up. I don't know. I can't tell which... Hmm. How am I gonna know which ghosts are aggressive and which ones are not? Because Luigi looks to be aggressive. Oh, and I see Wario. Okay.
okay, I'm guess I'm guessing I'm guessing if a ghost quietly comes in, we spray them, but if they loudly come in, we put the camera. Okay. Okay, we're dealing with Wario and Luigi this night. Is there anyone else we're going to deal with? I'm going to check the camera. And I'm taking on this night as well in this video just because I have enough time left to record, so it's a good thing. Oh, there's Luigi. Okay, he looks like he's shy, so that means might be able to spray him with a chemical or something. And then Wario, I can just put the camera up. Okay, it worked on Luigi. Perfect. Alright. So Luigi is a shy ghost. Wario is an aggressive ghost. Oh, and we're dealing with Peach too. I can hear footsteps. Okay, so we're dealing with Wario, Luigi, and Peach this night. Because I hear her footsteps. Okay, so... And I'm going to determine for Wario and Peach if I need to use the spray or put the camera up. Because we know for Luigi we can spray him because he's shy. He's not aggressive. So that's a good thing. Okay. And this bathroom looks a lot different than it does in Final Fantasy Warriors 3. Oh, that's Wario. Alright, so putting the camera up for Wario works. Okay. So for Wario, we have to put the camera up because he's an aggressive ghost. And now we have to find out what Pe how Peach will work. If we have to spray her with the spray bottle or we have to put the camera up. Because we know for Luigi, we have to spray him. Since he's shy, since he's shy, Wario's aggressive. And then for Peach, we gotta find out if she's aggressive or not. So I know how to deal with, so I know the ghost's personality when they come in. If they quietly come in, it means they're shy. If they loudly come in, they're aggressive. See, like Luigi. Alright, I sprayed him with the bottle. Click and hold to shake the bottle. I just refilled it, there you go. I see Luigi's back to where he started. Hmm. I haven't seen Peach this night, but I've been hearing her footsteps. I've seen Luigi and Wario. Now I gotta wait and see if Peach is gonna come. Yep, that's Wario. Put the camera up. Alright. Alright, that got rid of you. I have not seen Peach this night, so I might not have to worry about her, but we'll see. If I do have to worry about her, then we'll find out if she's shy or aggressive. Like with Luigi or Wario. Okay. I don't know why a shy, a shy ghost would kill me. I feel like shy ghosts are too shy to kill, whereas the aggressive ghosts are not afraid to do it, and they're willing to do it. Okay. Has Peach come yet? No, she hasn't. Oh, there's Luigi. <laughs> That's sh Luigi's shy face is actually pretty funny. <laughs> I can tell Luigi's too scared to kill me, but he's told to do it anyways. <laughs> I'm not even afraid of Luigi now that he's shy this night, whereas Wario I'm afraid of because he's aggressive. Oh, here's Luigi, speak of the devil. And then for Peach, I'm, I don't know yet. I've been he I haven't actually seen Peach on the cameras yet. And I haven't seen her come to the bathroom at all, because I've heard her footsteps. Unless if it's just Wario and Luigi we're dealing with, but... I don't know. I, I keep thinking we're dealing with Peach, but I don't know for sure if we're dealing with them, her. Or if it's just Luigi or War and Wario. Up here's Wario, speaking of. I gotta put the camera up.
Alright, we beat night two on the first try, that is, which is a good thing. Because night one, we died we died once, and then I beat it on the second try. Night two, I beat it on the first try. Oh, choose a room to hide in. We got an indoor pool or a playroom. Which I'm actually going to hide in the indoor pool, since since I do like going to the pool. And it's a good way to, to enjoy yourself. But um, anyways, we will take on night three in the indoor pool in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.